All right. We know how this goes. What is this card? Well, sorry. Seeing things on my desk. I was all focused until I immediately got distracted by something on my desk. Anyway. Here we are. It's Wednesday. Um, noticing an issue, at least, when I'm trying to find, you know, weird and other maps to play. And I had the issue a couple of weeks ago, or maybe even last week. I don't remember anymore. Where I tried to find certain themes. I click on the theme. I don't even look at it after I click it, hit play, and then I find out whatever the link was in the original um, thread over on GeoGuess or Reddit is different from what the link actually ends up being in GeoGuessr. And um, I tried a couple other ones that seemed interesting, and a lot of them just seemed to end up being something completely unrelated to what it was over at the Reddit thing. Anyway. Yeah, I decided to go with another theme on four today. We're starting games. Sorry. We're doing NFL and NCAA football stadiums. Just because we're uh, unable to go outside. Um, I'll probably end up getting a decent score on this, mainly just because I kind of know, or at least I think I know. This one I do, at least because I know what the team is. The problem is, I don't know if I'm actually going to know where in Baltimore the actual Ravens are, their stadium. But we're going to try. Anyway, how we doing? Um, I am very tired right now, mainly just because I've... Uh, I'm going to click just Baltimore. I know it's not here, but maybe I'll actually see it like doing this. I'm a little tired mainly just because um i'm kind of looking for like 395 or 83 there and i'm not seeing it um so i go through these cycles of waking up early and then kind of just being like well you know you're not gonna um stay home here i want to see how close we are to water I think we are right here I think um, yeah just uh, issues of sometimes being able to fall asleep sometimes not so that's Harrisburg Street Hamburg Street where is Hamburg Street okay I think I got it and I guess I'm going through that right now where hmm, Brandon's just like, nah, you don't need that much sleep. But I kind of would, nah, you don't. You're, you're up. Doesn't matter what time you go to bed. No, you're not going to go to bed early either. So fuck you is basically what it feels like right now. And I have this cord dangling here. I got to fix it a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know. It happens and comes and goes. But that's besides the point. It's really not what I was expecting to start with this. Um, video on, but that's kind of where we ended up. But let's take a little tour around uh, Baltimore if you haven't really seen what it is. We've done Maryland recently in a GeoGuessr thing, so I guess you get to see a little bit more of it. It's uh, fun times, at least right now. Um, again, as I mentioned before, having to work from home, kind of just stay at home, isn't much of a different change from what I normally do. I mean, granted, I'm not driving my car as much, and Weed Maps, that's a great name. <laughs> um, where I got my car a couple of days ago, and, and then I realized I don't think I've been in my car for like four or five days, and that really doesn't happen all that often. The new normal, but uh, one thing that's helped me kill the time is I think I may have mentioned it at least on Friday's video, what does this say? Or maybe in passing on Mondays was the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, getting into it, I'm probably almost about 10 hours into it now. Um, I always wonder if I'm actually going to have that um, ability I used to as a kid of just blitzing through a game as much as possible. And I don't know. I get maybe like three hours at the most of playing into it, and I'm just kind of like, all right, kind of want to stop doing that one compared to some other stuff that I do normally. I can do for much longer, but I am enjoying the game. If I'm not showing how terrible I am at actually 
being aware of things on the game, there's a couple of annoying things with it. Um, oh, we were off, apparently. Anyway, two points off. It's good enough. Um, this seems to be Arizona University. I don't know where in Arizona it is. It might be Tucson? Maybe University of Arizona, okay. I think we're looking at this thing. That's where the overhang is, so we're like right there. Um, looking at things on the screen, apparently it's really hard. Or like I'm just not as aware as I thought it would be where I'm going along doing shit, thinking I got it all down, and then kind of just like, oh shit, someone's at like 40% health, I'm not even noticing that. Or the screen kind of blinks red, and I'm like, why, why is it doing that? Who's hurt? And then it doesn't really tell you, or at least if it does, I'm very much not paying attention. A couple of fights in the game where you have to, they're, they're doing the thing with the game now that they kind of did with 15, um, where they're kind of like aping the style of boss fights, at least in, uh, um, like an MMO, they're taking some hits from 14, at least where you got to be able to move, get out of the way. Bosses telegraph their attacks. You got to know what to do to avoid it. But the problem is certain things like, I'm just beat this one boss where it shoots out these shock mines. And if you're near them, when they explode, you're stunned. And if it stuns the one person that you, that actually can reach shoot the boss because he's way off a platform and you can't reach him otherwise, it would be helpful if the camera was a little farther out so you can actually see the mines. Um, I mean, some other places may not have this issue, but me, at least knowing how to do um, boss fights and MMOs, you really like to be able to have at least control of the camera, be able to zoom it out more and see things and know what you're doing. But can we actually get down to the stadium here? <clears throat> Doesn't look it. But these are just little nitpick things. It's it's enjoyable. Um, wonder how they're gonna do the uh, next couple of games because I'm sure. Let's go down. That oh we do get on the field. Sweet. This is gonna be hot as fuck right in the center of the field. And you just have the sun beat down on you, and you're just like, oh god, it's so hot. Son practicing out here. Who we got? Do I know any of these names? Teddy Bruschi, I do. Chris McAllister, I do. That's it. And then you got a bunch over here. Sun Bowl winners. Um, but I recommend it. Almost feel like going back and playing the original, but I know that I can, and I mentioned in a previous video just because my disc is all dinged up. But other than that, I'm just doing other things to, uh, I'm just going to hit 5,000, thank you. Other things to kill time, baking as best I can. Usually looking at materials that I actually have in, in my uh, apartment. We're in Atlanta. MLS Cup, huh? What Atlanta sports venue is this? Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Home of the what? Flags are at half mass. Somebody must have died or something died recently. Um, not really advertising. Oh, you got the Falcons, some other logo, and uh, some other logo. <clears throat> Can't really make it out. Seems to be off season four right now. What's this? Is Mercedes Benz Stadium? Let's zoom in a bit until we see it. But I decided, it's like, I like cornmeal and making cornbread and shit like that. It's like, I wonder if you can actually make cookies out of it. So I found one and I made it, and it's basically, essentially, uh, butter and sugar. And oh, by the way, here's a little bit of cornmeal in it. And it's like, come on. It's got to be a better one than that. But they're still good. A lot of time to practice stuff. Girls, girlfriends making sourdough bread, which is a 
if you've never actually done it, a very involved process. Constantly feeding it, folding it, putting stuff, you know, making a starter. It's, it's involved, and you kind of wonder what happened for someone to actually, like, invent that as a type of bread. Just because the uh, steps and everything involved. I mean, I'm sure something happened by accident. Like, well, we fucked up on this bread. It sat for too long. Well, what if we do this to it? All sorts of... Uh, pra- is, it's not Georgia State. Where is Atlanta Stadium? The, the Falcons. I'm just I'm clicking here. Hoping that something will pop up here. It's Mercedes Benz Stadium, but I'm not I'm not seeing it anywhere here. Nope. Nothing. Uh anything else on my list here? Oh. Still very much falling into a hole of just looking at um board games and reviews of board games and things I'd like to try. Excuse me. And a lot of the problem with some of these is, yeah, they look kind of fun, but the people I would actually play these with, either the games that I think are really cool and interesting, they probably, they wouldn't like it. And I need more people and the amount of time involved to play some of these games is, uh, beyond what some people are willing or able to actually give. I don't know. Never really got into board games, but it was always like something interesting I would like to try. It's just the time involved. I actually did click. I did. Okay. The time involved to actually find and uh, like block out for people to actually do this, the, the older you get, the harder it gets to be. But, I don't know, maybe I can do like a foot in the door type thing where I can kind of get some people to be interested in it and just like, hey, you like that? Let's try this other one. Just kind of like slowly work our way there. But, I don't know. Some pretty cool, oh, we were. All right, where is it? Oh, fucking right there. I don't know what it's looking for, but it was not popping out to me there. Deadman School of Hos- Hospitality, the College of Bidness. Um, can I see what this university se- seminal? Oh, we are uh, the Florida. Florida State. I believe that's Tallahassee. The Dick of America. <clears throat> Florida State University. See how far that that sticks right out? Now I need to be able to find where this is here. I'm going to click here just so I have a uh, location kind of close if I can't nail it down more. This, This freaking campus is massive. Deadman School of Hospitality. That is a Williams Plaza at Langford. Okay, let's look for Williams Plaza. Excuse me. Throat's a little a little verklempt right now. Stone building. Deadman or look for a green. Doak Campbell Stadium. Here we go. So we're standing. Right there. Can we go inside? It does not look it. Florida State Seminoles. One of those uh, preliminary college football teams from early 90s on. You have like this. You have Miami University. If you want some interesting uh, documentaries about Like, the amount of money that colleges make, at least for, in sports revenue, and the uh, rules that they quote-unquote bend, if not outright just ignore, 
makes for some interesting um reporting and storytelling and there's pod, there's any there's a bunch of podcasts and anything i'm sure a 30 for 30 was done on it <clears throat> definitely worth going to check out i mean i think there was one college that did it so bad that like with like recruiting where they use prostitutes cocaine paid for people's cars gave them money under the table one place i think it might have been like southern methodist university it was like smu or something that the ncaa when they finally caught him and busted him they've like just gutted the entire program where you weren't allowed to give scholarships every game was vacated like if they won anything it was like nah you didn't actually kind of like what they did with penn state after the uh I can't remember his name anymore. Jerry Sandusky. That wonderful chapter in sports history. Making for interesting compromises some people make, whether or not you feign ignorance or not. But either way, Florida State University is massive. Like, I'm sure... It's got all this college town. It's it's a huge. It's like even down here, I don't know actually how much money they pull in, but it's got to be a lot. We're gonna make our guess. Five thousand points. Thank you. And finally, FedEx Field. Is this Pittsburgh or is this Philadelphia? It's a big parking lot. Let's uh, head this way a bit. Energy Stadium. Um, another thing that seemed to have gotten lost, at least, Christ, maybe in the past 15, 20 years, is like some people bemoan when uh, old stadium names are gone. You have like Candlestick Park, Soldier Field, Lambeau Field, and how quickly those names just went away and they were called like Enron Field. Or, uh, oop, here we go. Maryland. Is this, oh, we're, we're actually, uh, in D.C. with the, uh, Washington controversials. Can I find it outside Washington here? Zoom in a little bit. If you if any for anybody who's not aware, uh, what I'm talking about at least with one um, football team in Washington, they're called the uh, Washington Redskins, which is a bit of a derogatory term for some <clears throat> some Native Americans. Some don't. Some do. Either way. Um, it's, it's, it's been a, uh, point of contention where there's a bit of a pressure for, uh, the guy who owns the team. I forget what his name is. That's the national park. That's not what I'm looking for. It's like, Hey, change the name. But he's like, no, I don't want to RFK stadium. Ah, <sighs> see now this, I mean, Maryland's here. With the Capitol Beltway for 214. Let's take a look at this sign. I f I, I'm, this is taking way longer than it needs to. Interstate 95 and 495. There's 495, 495. So we're down here to Maryland 214. Let's take a look for a 214. I'm not seeing it. Hmm. I'm going to put us here just until I can maybe nail this down a bit more. I feel we're close. However, not close enough. Hmm. Pentagon City. Can I actually see the Pentagon? I'm get, I'm, I've given up on finding it now. I just want to see if, like, Pentagon will, if this is even where the Pentagon is. Pentagon Row. 
I just want to see if the actual Pentagon's here. What's happened to Jack and Julia? See how quickly I've just been distracted? I even forgot what I was talking about five minutes ago. Huh. I don't think I can get in the stadium here, can I? It'd be hilarious if I'm just completely off. Like 100%. Not see there's a logo. Right there, that's their logo. Hmm. Anyway. Here we go. Score. Give it to me. Yep, okay. I was I was quite a ways off. FedEx field. Yeah, I'm like looking in here. You have baseball team right there. FedEx way out here. Anyway. That's gonna do it for our Wednesday episode. I thank you all for your viewing. All your likes, your favorites, your comments, your subscribes, your comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, observations, anything at all. Go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Friday will be here before you know it. Wednesday came up way faster than you thought, probably too. So we'll come back here on Friday for another round of uh, geoguessing. So uh, we'll see you then, folks. Have a good one.